Hello friends and in today's video I am going to show you how to create a paintball game using scratch software. Okay, so now let's play this game and check how we can play. Okay, so using this button I am going to catch this hard face who is moving to the random positions. So after the score is 5 then again it it will be changing its backdrop okay so after the score 10 again it will be changing so this is the paintball game that we are going to create okay so now i'll show you how you can create it okay let's take a new file and then let's first take some backdrops okay so how many levels you want you can take to that much backdrops okay so now i am taking so many backdrops okay i am taking in the theme room so whichever theme you want you can choose that okay so now in the backdrops let's delete the white backdrop. now you can see that most the levels for this and let's take this to be the room one. Okay. This is the last room. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now what we are going to do is let's take the first backdrop here. Okay. Now let's give the code. Okay. So we need a hard face. Let's take choose a sprite and take the hard face as the first backdrop let's scroll down to find the hard face okay okay i got the hard face right now let's delete the sprite cat first let's select it group it and change it to much smaller one okay so now let's take the next one to be a button for which we are just okay this is the button that is moving along with us this is also having a very high size let's just reduce it so that we are able to move along with our mouse pointer okay so now let's make this hard face move randomly through this room. Okay. For that, what we have to do is let's take the first block to be when flat click. In the next one, let's go take which backdrop to room one, which is our first room. Okay. So always the game starts from here. Then go to control, take forever. Go to motion. Let's take go to X, Y. Go to operators. Take pick random for X and Y. Okay. So now I have taken some of the points. Okay. Okay. Now I'm not able to type something here because because I am just screen recording. Let's just first. Stop the screen recording. I'll just type and get back to you. Okay, just a minute. Okay, so now I have taken the x to be minus 230 and 2222 and y to be 168 to minus 147. Okay, now you can see that it's just moving so fast. Go to the control, take, wait one second. So now you can see that it's moving very randomly along this room so that we are able to catch it using this button. Okay. Now let's move on to the button and give the code to the button. Let's go to button one. Events when flat click. Let's set the size to be 40%. Or 40%. I'll give like 40%. Okay, but 40% is too small. Let's choose it to be 50%. And now I think it is okay. 
بتحاول لس... Okay, so once when the button is clicked, then what should happen? It should be changing its costume. Okay, so now let's create a costume. So let's duplicate it. Okay, I'm going to draw a costume in such a way that it is like puzzle. Okay, let's go take and just draw something like this. Okay, and let's fill the color. Okay, so now it will be changing its shape to this. Okay. Okay, let's color it and just make it more attractive. Okay, so now the costume is button one. Okay, let's go to the looks and set it to be with costume to button one. And once when it touches the heart face, then only it should be changing. Okay, now let's go to motion and take go to mouse point. So now you can see that this button is moving along with our mouse point. Okay, now once when we click on this, then it should be changing. Okay, so let's go take. Let's change like take switch costume to button two. If touching the heart face, okay. So touching the heart face, okay. Now let's see whether it works properly, and you can see that it's just been working. Okay. Now let's create a variable. Okay, initially set the score to zero, and each time touching it, it should be changing by one. Okay, let's give like wait for four and five seconds, so that only after point five seconds, it will be. Showing another score, okay. Otherwise, after touching, it will be showing different other scores, okay. Got it. Now, at each time, if the score increases, the costume, the background should be changing, right? So let's take a if block here. Go to the operators. Take equal to. Let's go to variables and take score. And the, if the score is equals to five, let's switch the backdrop. Go to looks, give switch backdrop to bedroom two. Again, let's copy it. If the score is equals to ten, let's make it switch. Duplicate it. Fifteen. Again, make it switch to the third bedroom. Duplicate it. Twenty. Again to the next costume. Again duplicate it. Twenty-five. Bedroom one. Okay. So at the thirty, what will happen? You are going to win the game. Okay. So let's go here. Text to speech. Speak. You won the game. Okay. And now what we are going to do is let's give like stop all from the control. Okay. So that if your point is thirty, you will get to see that you have won the game as well as that. Okay, let's see to play this game. Okay, now it's the fourth backdrop. You can see this. Let's play up to thirty so that we are able to understand. Okay. 
and you can see that the game has actually stopped right let's go check the server is equal to 30 then what has happened we have been giving stop all here right let's give here stop all as well so now you can see that you won't be able to play the game because it's just that the stop all okay i hope you like this video if you like this game please do try and let me know the comments in the chat box also if you have any feedbacks do write up in the chat box please do like and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video with another new game bye